Progress report. Okay, number one. Change your blades, because I made that mess. I tried to chamfer it afterwards. Still made a mess. It will be okay once ballasted. If not, my fault. Uh, when you do cut it, it's nice and clean. And easy. Right, basics really. So, obviously what I've done is I've packed this up to allow for the fine tracks, which I've joined the first piece there. Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, to make code 55 compatible with code 80, like here, that I think is 300 GSM card, I believe. Might be slightly wrong, but I think that's what it is. Um, seems like it could be fraction high, but things seem to run fine. Now this stuff, I don't know what it is. Perhaps just less than an eighth of an inch. But this stuff makes it compatible with code 100. No, code 80. I keep saying 100. Code 80. Like here. Yet, the thing is, that keeps the heights of all the three different tracks the same. So, what I have to do is rip this up. Which I'll do in a minute. In fact, no, let's do it now. What a shame, what a shame. I'll try and preserve the card if, if at all possible. Problem is it's stuck fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, frog wire is attached to. Oh. Just have to cut that off. Thankfully though, it comes off nice and clean. There we go. So that's preserved just about. I'll pinch the fish plate off it later. Oh well. I could probably repair it, but I think I'll just buy a new one. I'll keep this in the box. Probably never to be used again, and then one day I might repair it. Anyway, not the end of the world. I'll just have to make sure the point motors are pulling it in the right position and just put a bit of effort there, make sure it's correct. Now, something that's been in my mind for a while is we always want more space, like over here. I mean, there's going to be a ton of mouth there. It's going to be on the edge, pretty much. So, yeah, I mean, plan. Not sure what to do. I'll say I can extend it by a bit. I don't know. Same as here. What I want to be, I want, I want a little good shed here, which is what that block represents, just there. And the idea was to have a good shed here and have the road come round, right, like on the plan. Okay. But the other thing is, I want a control panel. And I was thinking I could put maybe a four to six foot extension here, and then a control panel. But now that I've done another idea, what, maybe this is the answer. If you can see what I'm getting at, the top flat piece of the extension is actually scenic. And then the control panel itself slopes, so it's ergonomically comfortable. And then there's a right angle piece where you put your controllers on, maybe a cup of tea. Just an idea. And then, then basically, uh, you put the scenic section on, and when you take it off, it's also the control panel. So if you want to take the control panel off, you take the scenics off as well. Yada yada, you get the idea. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. Right, this little join here seems fine. And then it does a tip field thunderbolt on you. You may notice something rather interesting about this particular one not that but Wilbur Audrey had it on his Farquhar layout and that muck I can't get rid of so I thought well you can get a 0 version but seemed a good excuse to have something rare with series related so I thought yeah 
why not? So anyway, that join's pretty good. Seems to look okay. Right. Nice jag. Rather impressive, in my opinion, considering it's N-Gage. Liking it very much. Okay, that's one. Nice little Pickford's removal van. Modern day ice cream van. These are from the Oxford Rail Range and these are all about £4 or less, so I think value for money is pretty good. Quite like the back of it. You can read that too. I've left the best till last though. Right. Da, 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 da. Come on, you recognise it. What is it? It's so cute! Oh, baby. I mean, it's so small. There's something about the side of it as well that you should notice. Well, I don't really want to focus anyway, so I'll stick a picture in. But you can even see the padlock at the side of it. It's basically Mr. Bean's car, which I think is great. Uh, somebody had a great idea, in fact it was Whitehouse Films, stick a uh, seat on top and put a bloke on it. I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. So that's the update for now anyway. Right, so I've spreaded this PBA, spread even, whatever. Just a case of putting it in. I'm going to use a roller against this point, pushing it against the back side of the stop rail, and then that will help to align this track, rub it in. Making sure there's a gap at the frog, so it's insulated, and a real, real, really fine gap on this row. Obviously, because that's springing, you need to keep playing a bit, hold it for a bit, but the rest of it grabs really quickly. And what I also like to do is, which is what I did here, put more PVA in than I have done, and just throw ballast on. Right, give it about 30 seconds to a minute, blow it away, or hoover it up, and then you've got pretty much instant ballasting. But for the stationary, I'm not going to bother. I want to be more careful and balanced afterwards. But that seems to be grabbing pretty well. The straight bit's nice. Just keep on top of it because it wants to spring away, you see. Just keep mucking about. Nice and gradual. I think. Okay. Let's get a little wagon out to test it. I think we're about there.
Good. Happy days. Offcuts make really good spreaders, by the way. They cost bugger all. I don't want it too thick because I find a small amount of glue sometimes sticks better than a lot. And I uh, prefer to put more glue in if I'm going to ballast it, which I'm not. So, Well, I am, but I mean, I'm not using the instant method at the moment. Okay. using the Pico gauge again, but I'm using a closed setting. So if you initially set it here, again, make sure there's a gap at the frog. Moving. Awkward. Awkward. There's a bit of a fiddle, no doubt about it. You've got time whilst it's setting to keep playing with it. Look down the length of it. You notice where it's kinking and where it's dog legging. The join is critical though, it has to be right, otherwise obviously nothing's gonna run, it's just gonna fall off all the time. It jumps in. Oh, that's good. Jumping a bit here. Right, that's going to be pushed up just a tweak. I reckon I can probably file that down slightly later. And it's only a teeny bit. It's running okay. I'm just a bit pedantic. That's come off because of points against it. Yep, yeah, going to leave it there. I can that height just a bit too much, but. We can sort that. Talking fraction anyway. Alright. That's a nice bit done. Next bit, the straight that goes there. Put the point back in. Link it here. Put a straight there. Uh, put two straights here. A straight, a straight. The two curves with the crossover set points. Track lane done. Okay, so we're back at the desk. I could, like I said, actually redo, well, remake the point blade, but I think I'll just order one. Oh yeah, I found this. Um, sort of borrowed it, just hope the original owner doesn't really mind. That's my model! Where is it? 
Kind of sounds like a bag of nails, though. I think I might have to do something about that. Oh, yeah, and my uh, brake van, my air gauge one, kind of blew up. Like, almost literally. Yeah. Shame that, because it's one of my favourite models. I'm going to repair it. The bits are here. Might put an HWI in, in the way. Um, basically, my bookshelf started to fall down, and as I was taking the books off, it started sliding off. It knackered it, so it's a shame. But there you go. And in case you want to know how I edit my videos, that's what I do. I like to use Win uh, Sony Vegas 32 inch TV as a preview window. He's good, innit? Yes. Alright, see you in a bit.